Left one. Okay. And your right hand's the power. Okay. So if I had you putting one-handed with your... No. Oh. You, if I had you putting with just your direction hand... Mm hmm Okay. Would your, would your direction hand be going up like this? No, it shouldn't be. I don't think so. In fact, it, it would feel better if, they, if you were going to putt that way to go through like this. Okay. I mean, that's the feeling you want to have. You want to have this going to the hole. Okay. And you don't want to be going like that. Ooh. Okay? Okay. In fact, hit one with just your left hand. Through the window, Mike. Oh, the main you'll find, you'll find it. You'll find that if you forward press, it's going to feel better to you. It'll feel connected. Get your normal stance. That's your stance. Okay. Okay, just keep it going. Now put it on the ground. Okay, now you feel how hard you have to grab it yeah. with the left? Okay, now put your right hand on it, but don't let it ruin the feel that you got going with your left. Uh, my goal has always been, whether I'm doing a clinic or whether I'm helping the amateurs, is I don't care whether we win the team. What I'm looking for is to have that CEO a month down the line have dropped four or five strokes off his handicap. And I can do that. I, I, they don't get necessarily better that day. In fact, one of the pleasures I get is I might take a team tomorrow that's going to shoot maybe nine or ten under playing with me. The next day I'll look on the board and they'll be 16 or 17 or 18 and I'll know that I helped them that much in one day. Now that, that was okay. You just, you just want, look where you're standing. That'd be like a pitcher ending up behind the rubber. The critical thing for most amateurs is make sure the club head's going at least a couple feet through the ball and then hold your finish. One of the things, one of the tips I love to give amateurs, if I see a guy that's having a heck of a hard time, I say, okay, I'm going to take a picture of you. At finish, it's your, you know, like I like to think of Hogan at Marion with the club behind his ears, behind his head. Okay, amateurs, they're falling all over themselves. Okay, but I'm going to take a picture and you're going to have to put it on your mantle. We're going to blow it up, 16 by 24, and you got to leave it there for a year. Well. Now, they just forget the ball, and they go to having this finish that looks like this, and lo and behold, the ball goes better.